थैंक यू लॉर्ड फॉर दिस वंडरफुल टाइम एज योर वर्ड से इज मैन शेल नॉट लिव बाई ब्रेड अलोन बट बाई एवरी वर्ड दैट प्रोसीडेड आउट ऑफ द माउथ ऑफ द लॉर्ड येस फादर गार्ड टूडे ऑल्सो वी आर गोइंग टू रीड द वर्ड्स विच वी हैव रिटर्न टू अस फॉर अस द फादर गार्ड स्पीक टू अस एंड स्ट्रेंथन अस इन द नेम ऑफ चीजस वी प्रे ए मैन जेनेसिस चैप्टर ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड सारा वॉज एन हंड्रेड एंड सेवन एंड ट्वेंटी ईयर्स ओल्ड दीज वर द ईयर्स ऑफ द लाइफ ऑफ सारा एंड सारा डाइड इन किरजात अरबा द सेम इज हैब्रोन इन द लैंड ऑफ केन एन एंड एब्रहम केम टू मॉन फॉर सारा एंड टू वीप फॉर हर एंड एब्रहम स्टूड अप फ्राम बिफोर हिज डेड एंड स्पोक अन टू द सन्स ऑफ हेथ से आई एम अ स्ट्रेंजर एंड अ सर्जनर विद यू Give me a position of a burying place with you, that I may bury my dead out of my sight. And the children of Heth answered Abraham, saying unto him, Hear us, my lord, thou art a mighty prince among us. In the choice of our sepulchres, bury thy dead. None of us shall withhold from thee his sepulchre, but that thou mayest bury thy dead. And Abraham stood up. and bowed himself to the people of the land even to the children of heth and he spoke with them saying if it be your mind that i should bury my dead out of my sight hear me and entreat me to ephron the son of johar that he may give me the cave of machpela which he hath which is in the end of his field for as much money as it is worth he shall give it for me a position of a burying place among you And Ephron dwelt among the children of Heth. And Ephron the Hittite answered Abraham in the hearing of the children of Heth, even of all that went in at the gate of his city, saying, "Nay, my lord, hear me. The field give I thee, and the cave that is therein, I give it thee. In the presence of the sons of my people, give I it thee. Bury thy dead." And Abraham bowed down himself before the people of the land. And he spoke unto Ephron in the hearing of the people of the land, saying, "But if thou wilt give it, I pray thee, hear me. I will give thee money for the field. Take it of me, and I will bury my dead there." And Ephron answered Abraham, saying unto him, "My lord, hearken unto me. The land is worth four hundred shekels of silver. What is that between me and thee? Bury therefore thy dead." And Abraham hearkened unto Ephron, and Abraham weighed to Ephron the silver which he had named in the hearing of the sons of Heth, four hundred shekels of silver, current money with the merchant. And the field of Ephron, which was in Machpela, which was before Mamre, the field, and the cave which was in it, and all the trees that were in the field, that were in all the borders round about, were made sure unto Abraham for a position in the presence of the children of Heth. Before all that went in at the gate of his city, and after this Abraham buried Sarah his wife in the cave of the field of Machpela before Mamre. The same is Hebron in the land of Canaan, and the field and the cave that is in it were made sure unto Abraham for a position of a burying place by the sons of Heth. Amen. Matthew chapter twelve. At that time Jesus went on the Sabbath day. Through the grain fields, and his disciples were hungry, and began to pluck the ears of grain and to eat. But when the Pharisees saw it, they said unto him, Behold, thy disciples do that which is not lawful to do upon the Sabbath day. But he said unto them, Have ye not read what David did when he was hungry, and they that were with him, how he entered into the house of God? And did eat the show bread which was not lawful for him to eat, neither for them who were with him, but only for the priests. Or have we not read in the law how that on the Sabbath days the priests in the temple profane the Sabbath and are blameless? But I say unto you that in this place is one greater than the temple. But if ye had known what this meaneth, I will have mercy and not sacrifice, ye would have not condemned the guiltless. For the Son of Man is Lord even of the Sabbath day. And when he was departed from there, he went into the synagogue. And behold, there was a man who had his hand paralyzed. And they said unto him, saying, Is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath days, that they might accuse him? And he said unto them, What man shall there be among you that shall have one sheep, and if it fall into a pit on the Sabbath day, will he not lay hold of it and lift it out? 
How much then is a man better than a ship? Wherefore, is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath days? Then said he to the man, Stretch forth thine hand. And he stretched it forth, and it was restored well like the other. Then the Pharisees went out and held a counsel against him, how they might destroy him. But when Jesus knew it, he withdrew himself from there, and great multitudes followed him, and he healed them all, and charged them that they should not make him known, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, Behold my servant, whom I have chosen, my beloved, in whom my soul is well pleased. I will put my spirit upon him, and he shall show justice to the Gentiles. He shall not strive, not cry, neither shall any man hear his voice in the streets. A bruised reed shall he not break, and smoking flax shall he not quench, till he send forth justice unto victory, and in his name shall the Gentiles trust. Then was brought unto him one possessed with a demon, blind and dumb, and he healed him in so much that the blind and the dumb both spoke and saw. And all the people were amazed and said, Is not this the son of David? But when the Pharisees heard it, they said, This fellow doth not cast out demons, but by Beelzebub, the prince of the demons. And Jesus knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. And if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself, how shall then his kingdom stand? And if I, by Belzebub, cast out demons, by whom do your sons cast them out? Therefore they shall be your judges. But if I cast out demons by the spirit of Kar, then the kingdom of God is come unto you. Or else, how can one enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods, except he first bind the strong man, and then he will spoil his house? He that is not with me is against me, and he that gathereth not with me scattereth abroad. Wherefore, I say unto you, all manner of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven men, but the blasphemy against the Holy Spirit shall not be forgiven men. And whosoever speaketh a word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him. But whosoever speaketh against the Holy Spirit, it shall not be forgiven him, neither in this age, neither in the age to come. Either make the tree good and its fruit good, or else make the tree corrupt and its fruit corrupt. For the tree is known by its fruit. O generation of vipers, how can ye, being evil, speak good things? For out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaketh. A good man, out of the good treasure of the heart, bringeth forth good things, and an evil man, out of the evil treasure, bringeth forth evil things. But I say unto you, that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account of it in the day of judgment. For by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. Then certain of the scribes and of the Pharisees answered, saying, Master, we would see a sign from thee. But he answered and said unto them, An evil and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign, and there shall no sign be given to it, but the sign of the prophet Jonah. For as Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of the great fish, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. The men of Nineveh shall rise in judgment with this generation and shall condemn it, because they repented at the preaching of Jonah, and, behold, a greater than Jonah is here. The Queen of the South shall rise up in the judgment with this generation and shall condemn it, for she came from farthest parts of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon, and, behold, a greater than Solomon is here. When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places, seeking rest, and findeth none. Then he said, I will return into my house from which I came out, and when he is come, he findeth it empty, swept, and garnished. Then goeth he, and taketh with himself seven other spirits, more wicked than them himself, and they enter in and dwell there. And the last state of that man is worse than the first. 
even so shall it be also unto this wicked generation while he yet talked to the people behold his mother and his brethren stood outside desiring to speak with him then one said unto him behold thy mother and thy brethren stand outside desiring to speak with thee but he answered and said unto him and that told him who is my mother and who are my brethren and he stretched forth his hand toward his disciples and said behold my mother and my brethren for whosoever shall do the will of my father who is in heaven the same as my brother and sister and mother amen proverbs chapter 12 whoso loveth instruction loveth knowledge but he that hateth reproof is stupid a good man obtaineth favor of the lord but a man of wicked devices will he condemn a man shall not be established by wickedness but the root of the righteous shall not be moved a virtuous woman is a crown to her husband but she that maketh ashamed is as rottenness in his bones the thoughts of the righteous are right but the counsels of the wicked are deceit the words of a wicked are to lie in wait for blood but the mouth of the upright shall deliver them the wicked are overthrown and are not but the house of the righteous shall stand a man shall be commended according to his wisdom but he that is of a perverse heart shall be despised he that is despised and hath a servant is better than he that honoreth himself and lacketh bread a righteous man regardeth the life of his beast but the tender mercies of the wicked are cruel he that tilleth his land shall be satisfied with bread but he that followeth vain persons is void of understanding the wicked desireth the net of evil men but the root of the righteous yieldeth fruit the wicked is snared by the transgression of his lips but the just shall come out of trouble a man shall be satisfied with good by the fruit of his mouth and the recompense of a man's hands shall be rendered unto him the way of a fool is right in his own eyes but he that hearkeneth unto counsel is wise a fool's wrath is presently known but a prudent man covereth shame he that speaketh truth showeth forth righteousness but a false witness deceit there is he that speaketh like the piercings of a sword but the tongue of the wise is health the lip of truth shall be established forever but a lying tongue is but for a moment deceit is in the heart of those who imagine evil but to the counselors of peace is joy that shall no evil happen to the just but the wicked shall be filled with mischief lying lips are an abomination to the lord but they that deal truly are his delight a prudent man concealeth knowledge but the heart of the fools proclaimeth foolishness the hand of the diligent shall bear rule but the slothful shall be put to forced labor heaviness in the heart of man maketh it stoop but a good word maketh it glad the righteous is more excellent than his neighbor but the way of the wicked seduceth them the slothful man roasteth not that which he took in hunting but the substance of a diligent man is precious in the way of righteousness is life and in the pathway thereof there is no death amen loving heavenly father we praise you and thank you o father god lord help us to walk in the way of righteousness fill us with your instruction give us your instruction and guidance so that we may walk in the correct path and lead us to the correct way o father god we should not be like the foolish men who go astray in their way o lord and we should not ever walk in the astray o, in the wrong path o father god but lead us in the right way so that we may come to heaven in the name of jesus we pray amen god bless you